I instinctively reduce uncertainty in my everyday life, and I bet that you do too. Let me explain a bit more about what I mean with reducing uncertainty. The uncertainty reduction theory was developed in 1975 by Berger and Calabrese. It states that our primary compulsion during initial interactions is to reduce uncertainty about our communication partners by gathering enough information about them so their communication becomes predictable and explainable. There are three major ways to reduce uncertainty about the target person, passive, active, and interactive strategies. First, let's talk about the passive strategy. This is when you observe how the person reacts with others from a distance. Looking up the person on Facebook also falls into this category. Well, I when I received the long-awaited email that contained my roommate information for the fall semester, I hopped right onto Facebook. I wondered if she would be crazy, a slob, neat freak, friendly, smart. I found her profile, I scrolled through her posts, pictures, and saw our mutual friends. Reducing uncertainty for and discovering she was more than normal quieted my fears. Secondly are active strategies where you ask others about the target person, according to McNornack, page 83. This involves finding someone who knows the target and prying them for information. Not foolproof, this strategy can be risky if the target finds out you were asking about him or her. This could be embarrassing and make for an awkward situation. It's imperative to remember that this information from the third party may not always be accurate. Finally, interactive strategies. This is one of my favorite and involves face-to-face -face interaction. During the first week of class at NDSU this fall semester, I would find a seat next to a female who looked about my age and then proceed to start up a conversation. Within a couple minutes, we had discussed name, year in school, major, and hometown. From this information, I quickly gathered where she came from and her interests as defined by her major. Let's review. The passive strategy includes looking someone up on Facebook or standing at a distance and observing them. Active strategies are asking a third party about the person. Keep in mind that this plan could backfire if the target finds out. Lastly, the interactive strategy involves two-way communication by actually talking to the target.